Hello, Kale here. Today I'm going to show you how to find the North or South Pole. The first step to this is to find the direction, North or South, and determine which hemisphere we are in. To do this, you simply pull up your camera mode and look at the sun. You then adjust the time forwards or backwards until it is noon. If the sun moves right to left, like this, it means you're in the southern hemisphere. If it moves left to right, it mo means you are in the northern hemisphere. This is, of course, only when you are advancing time in the positive direction. Okay, now we look at our shadow and determine which way is south, because it was moving right to left. Now, we hop in our ship, turn around, and head further south. We're going to have to stop and redo this process a few times in order to make sure our bearing is correct, and then to make sure we are staying on course and determine how close we are to the North Pole, or in this case, South Pole, by looking at how high or low the sun is in the sky. The further north or south you are, the lower the sun will be at noon. Once again, we will pull up the camera mode and set our time to 12 o'clock. Once there, we will pull back and look at our shadow to see if we need to correct our direction. Sometimes, in tall grass, if you're a short geck like me, it helps to look at your ship's shadow. It looks like I need to adjust my heading a little bit to the right. So let's hop back in our ship. Add some launch fuel. Take off, adjust our heading, and keep on going. I want to land fairly soon after this because I am just checking my heading again to make sure I adjust it enough. Or, conversely, did not adjust too much. Same process, just pull up the camera, set the time to noon. Honestly, in this entire process, Getting your heading and taking the time to change the clock is the most time-consuming part of this process. Once again, we save our settings and go and look at our shadow. Oh, that looks pretty good. I think we're going to be able to go a bit farther this time. So, when going further, I never pulse, because it is really difficult to control how far you go and when you stop relative to the planet. Especially since, as you see, it already looks like it's getting to sunset, which is approximately what it will look like when you are close to the North Pole, so I'm not going to fly as far this time as I normally would because of the of how the sky looks. Let's land and take a look at the sky and see if we have Midnight Sun. So we adjust our time to midnight instead of noon this time, and unfortunately it does not look like we're quite there yet. 
So we will go back and set our time to noon just to double check our direction hasn't drifted. Noon, let's look at our shadow. Everything looks pretty good still. So, alright, let's hop back in our ship then and keep going. There's a nice spot to land. Let's check. Again, let's pull up our camera and let us set the time to noon. This is promising. The sun is pretty much going straight across the strip of the sky. Again, right to left as we are increasing the time. So that definitely means we are in the southern hemisphere. Okay, right on the noon. And the sun is pretty low. So let's go see if we have some midnight sun. It's a little easier if you get to a high location so that you don't have local terrain obstacles blocking your view. By the way, even if you do have local terrain obstacles blocking the view, the sky will not get dark. You will just be cast in shadow. There you have it. The Midnight Sun. All in all, this took me about 10 minutes to complete. I hope you've enjoyed this short video and you find it useful. Once again, this has been Kale. Until next time, goodbye.